Did Carolyn Hennessy's character, Diane, meet her end on General Hospital? The killer waited in the shadows as Friday's cliffhanger had us on the edge of our seats. Then, next Monday on GH, we find out what a horrible end she met. Once again, the hook murderer struck on ABC's General Hospital. Carolyn Hennessy's character, Diane Miller, is the next to go. If the local Port Charles maniac severely attacked Diane, did he kill her? Gregory Chase, Gregory Harrison, and Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Graham, went to the garage of the recently deceased Brando Corbin, Johnny Wachter, on today's episode of General Hospital. They want to solve the mystery so they can submit their findings to the invader. However, they were in for a shocking shock when they saw the legal eagle lying in a pool of blood. Keep in mind that Diane was having this conversation with Sasha Gilmore's Sophia Matson, mourning character about her conservatorship after the death of her husband. On Friday's episode of General Hospital, he left after having an argument with Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard. The character Dex Heller, played by Evan Hofer, was also present. Perhaps you'll recall that the mob boss ordered Dex to secure the premises after everyone left. As a result, Dex appears to be the main suspect. Unfortunately, it's not him. He dialed emergency services and attempted CPR to save her life, but he also witnessed the initial assault. Remember, in total, the hook killer has carried out three such attacks. Initially, it was during the Q picnic where Ava Jerome, Maura West, became enamored. The madman then appeared to be following Jocelyn Jacks, Eden McCoy, but instead he attacked Brando. Perhaps Joss was the intended victim, and the mechanic was simply in the wrong location at the wrong time. Brando perished because the weapon used in the second attack was poisoned. Ava is still in the hospital, but doing better every day on General Hospital. And now, ABC's soap opera fan favorite, Diane Miller, is bleeding out and may not make it. If so, why? Is Dex involved in this? Nah, the clanging of his dog tags should serve as a warning. Diane's assault instead lends credence to the idea that Esme Prince is still alive and responsible for the hook killings, Avery Pole. And that's why Ava didn't get poisoned too. The possibility exists that Esme is trying to get Nicholas Cassidine, Marcus Coloma, out of her father's way by framing him for the attack. If Ryan Chamberlain's, John Lindstrom, daughter murdered Ava, he'd lose it. He might be able to overcome it if she attacked him. Therefore, there is no toxin. Esm's animosity against Trina Robinson is common knowledge, Tabiana Alley, and Esm's plan to put her adversary in jail was foiled largely due to Diane's expertise in the law. In addition, if Ryan's lunatic daughter is behind the hook attack, then targeting Joss makes perfect sense. In this case, Trina's best friend was the intended target of the poison-tipped hook not the mechanic who was later found dead. According to the most recent episode of General Hospital, things are looking very bad for Diane Miller. Luckily, Dex was there and he is trained as a combat medic. He stopped the hemorrhage, but Diane probably ingested a poison. Still, if you've been paying attention, there's a chance. Dr. Terry Randolph, Cassandra James, was informed by Dr. Hamilton Finn, Michael Easton, that Finn had placed the order for the antidote. He also verified that the lawyer had been poisoned with the same substance as the previous victim. Time is of the importance since the antidote has arrived at General Hospital and Diane needs to be treated immediately. It's critical that it be given to her right away. It looks like she'll make it through the impending GA spoilers, which is great news. Things won't be as horrible as Alexis fears, Dr. Finn tells her next week. Then, sometime next week, the hook killer will attack once more. If you think Diane Miller is going to quit, you're wrong. It's a sure thing that Carolyn Hennessy will make it through this alive and well. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Gossip for America, and stay with us.